you know, it's time we as a nation thought about how much we depend on our grocery store clerks, our bus drivers, our transit workers. These are the folks who keep the food supply going and secure. These are the custodial and cleaning crews that make things, things are safe and clean. And so many more people out there that we never pay attention to. When was the last time people took the time to look you in the eye and say, thank you. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for what you're doing. But you know, <clears throat> we're seeing it clearly now. We're seeing it as clear as day. We've, we, 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 we've, we're lost without you. And this is not, it's not, not an exaggeration. We're lost without all of you. All across the nation, it's so often our lowest paid workers who have to step up during this crisis and crisis like this. You're putting yourselves in the line every single day and you're sacrificing so much under dire circumstances to do your job and you're doing it for not just yourself, for all of us. And you're essential to our society in times of crisis and beyond. And, and you, deserve, you deserve not just our thanks but our res and our respect. You deserve a safe workplace and fair pay. You deserve personal protective equipment including gloves and masks that enables you to do your job as safely as possible. You deserve to have the appropriate space between you and your coworkers and the ability to wash your hands frequently. You know, we, we're, we're seeing during this crisis just why it is so important for American workers to belong to unions so that they have someone to fight for them and with them, putting your interest, your interest first, standing up for workplace safety and the needs of every business to make sure that workers are protected against infectious disease. You deserve a government, a government that's working hard for you. And you are as hard as you're working for us. You know, the government that not only sets but enforces worker safety standards. A government that ensures everyone has the option of paid sick leave. A government that provides universal access to affordable, high-quality health care, which this guy's not doing at all. Not one, not not one that ties to uh, tries to just rip your health protections away, like he's trying to do now by getting away with getting rid of Obamacare for folks who need it now more than ever. You deserve premium pay, standing on the front lines of this crisis, enabling our society to keep running, even as so many of you stay home and practice social distancing to break the infectious curve of the virus. These people have to go out and provide your needs for you. Congress should pass the Democratic, the, you know, the Senate Democrats has a, have a proposal for $25,000 in premium pay for frontline workers. I don't mean pay in lieu of other basic benefits. I mean a premium pay on top of the inherent rights that all workers deserve. Because of what, 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 what being at work right now is costing you personally. You know, I know you've lost friends and coworkers, loved ones. I know you're worried about your own health. I know you're worried about your families when you go home and what you might bring home. But also, also what will happen if you're not able to work. My heart goes out to every one of you who have, uh, every one of you, you know, every, every individual who is suffering because of this virus. The families who are grieving because they lost someone. Folks like all of you who are working harder than ever and the workers who have had their hours slashed and lost their jobs entirely and don't know how long they can make me ends meet. We're being tested like we've never been tested before as a country. And I know, I know that we'll come through this. The American people have never, ever, ever let their country down. And ordinary people like the neighbors I come from, when given an opportunity, they're capable of accomplishing anything, extraordinary things. As I've been saying throughout this this whole period. You know, we just don't pay enough attention. But in the face of this COVID-19, we're seeing the incredible American grit and spirit shine through. And when we get through this crisis, we're going to have an enormous amount of work to do, not just to rebuild our country, but to transform it, to make the investments we need to make for having, we needed to make for so long for our workers, to create a more just and more fair economy where everyone, everyone has the opportunity to build a middle-class life for their families, to make sure everyone in this country earns a living wage and is treated with dignity and respect they deserve. As my dad used to say, everybody, Joey, 
everybody is entitled to be treated with dignity. 